Hello everybody and welcome to the first in a series we're calling How Do. And in this episode we're going to teach you how do, how do make a hand scanner that lets you in. So this system is pretty cool. So when the when you're not near it, it's just a little black screen. When you go close to it, it turns on. When you right click on it, if you're the right person, it lets you in. If you're the wrong person, it doesn't let you in. So everything you need for this mod, uh, this mod, this uh, project is um, computer craft, uh, advanced computer craft monitors. So it's one of the early later versions of computer craft. But you know, if you've not got that, then you must be on a really old server. And I'm sorry, we can't help you there. Um, so you need the advanced computer craft monitors. Um, you need some sort of wiring, so that's either Mine Factory Reloaded um, with its RedNet controller, I think that's part of it, or just RedNet, I'm not sure whether they're two different mods or not. Um, uh, obviously Computer Craft, um, and OpenCC Sensors, which is a um, pretty cool addition, which lets you have, uh, have a special sensor in, that uh, lets you check for certain things so if I just break these blocks you can see what's going on there's your sensor there so all these things can be found in the current version of TechIt um, from the Technic launcher so that's why I'm currently making this in as you can uh, the more Steve you would have recognized that this is um, uh, Dave's to the moon server um, and I uh, a lot of you will have already seen this I just never explained how it was made so yeah, so it's very, very simple. All it is is a monitor connected to a computer, which is what that is there. Yeah, I've just got the screen is this way for some reason. Uh, a radar, and then this is um, a network cable just so that I can have the computer far away from the monitor. So um, I think what I'll do very quickly is show you how it's made. Um, what I will be doing is I will be including... Um, a link to the paste bin where this is, but I'm going to show you all the individual elements that make it work first, so you can sort of get an idea for what's going on, because um, I'd be a bit remiss if I just showed you how to use it and didn't give you the slightest clue of how to make one yourself. Um, but if you don't want to learn the programming, um, feel free to uh, maybe skip to the end and check out the in instructions on how to install it yourself, yeah? Okie dokie. So, I'm going to find my boot disk, which I put somewhere, where is, once put my boot disk, da, 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 da. there it is, boot disk, and my disk drive, and I'll put that there, put my disk in there, oops, restart the computer, there we go, so now I'm on the, what's it, so if I go duh there, we've got five programs, Lock um, is actually the name of the program originally, but now I've got a version of it called Startup, so we can ignore Lock. Um, so the important ones there are Hand, Hand Bad, Hand Good, and Startup. So what I'll do first is I'll show you um, the different hands. So if I say Paint Hand, there you can see that's what's what you saw on the screen before. Um, paint, that's not how you spell Paint. Hand Good which is green, obviously, and paint, hand, hand, bad. And that's red if they're bad and a bad one, which we don't want to let in. So we edit start up very quickly, and I can show you roughly how it works. So first you load in the sensor API, which you have to do if you're using this thing, um, using that first line there. Then you have um, this one, which wraps the monitor, so it adds a monitor um, called door for some reason and it sets the scale to a half which means you can fit a lot more on the screen so that's good if you're showing pictures then you've got uh then i wrap the radar there to a radar variable so that i can access stuff from the variable then i make a table full of people who are allowed in that's me bunts nipty dave um, but we're not allowed not letting gar in so that's false and we also actively avoid gar so the difference is allow means it won't open for him avoid means it won't open if he's anywhere nearby when anyone else tries to open it, you see? So if I'm coming along and Gar's hiding behind a bush nearby and I try to open the door, it won't let me in because Gar might be able to run in past me, you see? So X min, X max um, are the minimum X and Y coordinates, uh, sorry, the minimum and maximum X coordinates to be checking within and the same for Y, mi 
why min and why max. Um, bear in mind, when I say why min and why max there, they should be Z min and Z max, but uh, I got lazy and couldn't be bothered to change them after I realized that I'd made the mistake. So just bear that in mind. Um, so this line basically um, redirects all input that should go to the computer screen to the monitor. So that's fairly straightforward. So if I ever print anything, instead of going onto this big screen that you're seeing in front of me, it'll go onto the computer monitor where the hand was earlier. So you have to do that because when you're, paint, when you're drawing something using the paint, paint Utils API um, onto the screen, whenever you're trying to draw an image, like for example, those hands, they have to, you, there's no way of drawing them to a monitor that I know of. I could be wrong. Someone's probably going to comment and say, no, you're an idiot. There's definitely a way. But the only way I know how to do it is to redirect the monitor like that. So first we have to load in the images. So we've got hand good, hand bad, and hand normal. So that's hand good, hand bad, and hand. You've already seen those already. So hand is the yellow one, hand bad is the red one, hand good is the green one. So then we, um, these are functions, so I'll go past those. So first we start a timer of one second and we um, pull an event. So if, um, if, uh, a second. Oh yeah, so sorry about that. So first we pull an event and straight away after we pulled the event, we check to see who's near the computer. Um i.e. so is it me am I near the computer or is anybody in the allow section up here is anybody there near the monitor or within that X and Y coordinates minimum and maximum that we set out? If so, draw the hand. If not clear the clear the terminal we want it blank so that's what makes the the, the um, screen blank if you're not close enough or shows the hand if you are so then we check say when we've pulled the event we have a variable called e and a variable called k if you pull an event and the event comes back as a monitor touch event which is what's happening there um, we check to see if um, the if targets are in um, so if the targets returned by radar dot get targets um, are in allow um, and not um, and there aren't anyone from a void you see then we draw the good one the good hand open the door sleep for two seconds and reboot and then if if there if someone isn't there if someone isn't there or gar is nearby we draw the bad hand and reboot um, so if I quickly show you what this one does, so check targets, what that does is you give it, um, a table of targets there, which is targets and a table to compare it against, which is called compare. Um, and then for each thing in the table, we, um, check it against in the compare target, sorry, sorry, the compare table, we compare it against the targets table. And if it is there. We check if they're in range, which simply just applies the, um, that, uh, whether or not a number is between two values, um, or is the same as these two values. Simple as that. Really, really very simple. Okay. So as you can see now, it's not working. I say, see now, we'll be able to get back in. Nope. So as you can see, it's not working because the computer's off. If I just get my boot disk back. And if I run the program, there we go. We go right here. There it goes. Back on. Right click. Opens. Simple as that. If more of a student viewer would have noticed that if I stand a little bit out of range, that's not quite out of range enough. There we go. Still not out of range enough. Oh, of course, I won't be able to do it like that. There we go. Red. So I'm out of range now, so that means it won't count. I'm just in range. Thank you, skeleton. There you go. So it's red. That's out of range. So it won't open the door. That's exactly what Gar will see by any point. No! <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want to. I did. Okay. So if you want to get your hands on this, um, it's very, very, very simple. All you need to do is go... Oh. Get my boot disk again. Actually, sorry, I'll just get a new computer. So, all you need to do very easily, that's not a computer, that's a disk drive. All you need to do very easily is if you want to get
get hold of this computer, you just have to use the paste bin program. So you go paste bin, paste bin, get, and then there'll be a bunch of links um, on the screen right now, um, or a bunch of sort of five, I think five or six character um, strings um, on the screen right now, or also in the description below. Um, and all you need to do is put those in here. So for example, it might be X, 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 X. It probably won't be that. Um, so, and then the name that you want to save it to. So hand, so that'll say, so paste bin get, and then the code that you're going to see on the screen, um, in, um, an annotations or in the description below and then hand, and then that will be for the hand picture. And then the same for hand good, but with a different, um, symbol, a uh, different one of these, this thing here. So this one would be, I don't know, X, Y, 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 X. Um, and that would be hand good. And then we've got a different one. Again, these are examples. I don't know what these codes are, but I will get them in time for the video, okay? Uh, in time for putting the video up. And then that would be hand bad, like that. So the important thing is that you name these exactly right. So this has to be hand, hand good, and hand bad, okay? And then you will finally have the one that you want need to load called startup. And that would be as simple as that. Now, the only problem is you will have to tweak those numbers that I showed you, you know, the ones where it says X min and Y uh, min and X max and Y max. You'll have to tweak those um, until it works because, uh, and the way to do that, sorry, that because all the value comes from this, you might not have your computer set out the way I've got it. And also you'll have to tweak how the monitor cable works. In fact, no, I'll do that first. I'll, I'll figure out how that works first. But um, you will have to... Um, You'll have to sort out the distance from the radar here to where you want to check around, you see? So here we're only checking on X and Y. So we've got, this would be, okay. So this guy would be 59153, uh, you see? Um, no, wait, sorry, 5952. 59152. Now over here is 56148. So you need to subtract this number from this number, the coordinates there in the top right, you see, um, so that they roughly equal. Um, I can't figure out a nice way of doing that for you, so you will just have to edit the code yourself to get that to work. Um, I, in the future, I'll probably try and make one that does it all for you. Um, but it will require you to do a little bit of research to figure out what's going on because it's really a bit difficult for me to set this stuff up for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this.